top story tonight, the Twitter whistleblower Peter Zacco claiming that the company has major security deficiencies. Zacco is Twitter's former head of security, and he is now alleging the social media giant's executives misled federal regulators on security issues like cyber defense and efforts to control fake accounts. Joining us tonight is Peter Zacco's attorney, John Ty. John, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. What motivated Peter to take this step and why now? Well, Peter had been planning this really since December of last year, so well before there was any talk of a Twitter takeover. Um, when he first approached the board, um, really with just very deep concerns about uh, the handling of security and privacy, national security issues, uh, content integrity issues inside the company. Um, uh, he was thwarted from making accurate uh, disclosures to the board. Um, was soon fired and uh, then became a lawful whistleblower. So he's really motivated uh, by trying to get law enforcement and the Twitter using public to understand the risks here. Well, from cybersecurity problems to um, even impacts on our national security, our democracy, what do these kinds of threats look like according to your client? Well, uh, as we've seen over the last decade, uh, everything from misinformation and disinformation on the platform that's driving uh, everything from uh, election interference, uh, the January 6th insurrection, ethnic violence in foreign countries, um, to uh, just overt national security threats. Uh, for instance, with foreign agents, foreign spies uh, hired by foreign intelligence agencies, salaried employees working for the company with access to sensitive systems and data. Well, and, and following up on that, are these threats from a foreign adversary or are most of these threats domestic? Uh, all of the above. So the company itself uh, has serious problems handling, storing uh, data, deleting data when it's no longer useful, um, ensuring that that data is not uh, hacked or penetrated by adversaries, um, but also uh, foreign, f foreign efforts, both in terms of disinformation spread on the platform and in terms of specific agents and employees uh, with access to internal systems are also threats. So. Uh, it, it's a wide-ranging problem here. Well, and Twitter announced their new policy aimed at fighting misinformation. You were just talking about that issue. Uh, it's calling this the new crisis misinformation policy, uh, warning labels to some debunked claims. Do you feel that warning labels are enough? Um, is this policy enough ahead of the midterms? Uh, I don't have a, a, a view on this particular policy, but I will say uh, that the organization is understaffed to enforce any policy they put out. Um, it, it's not, uh, there's not the systems in place to actually um, ensure that this mis misinformation um, is, is properly handled, regardless of what any policy says. Well, the whistleblower says that Twitter has more bots than it is disclosing. Uh, we know the world's richest man, Elon Musk, uh, reneging, trying to at least on his deal to purchase Twitter. Um, and a lot of that centers on bots. Is Twitter lying about the extent of its bot problem? Well, uh, for one thing, uh, the CEO of Twitter stated that uh, all of the Twitter executives have an incentive to reduce bots. Um, Peter's, uh, my client Mudge is his nickname, he's a hacker. Um, his, uh, th the first part of his disclosure explains, in fact, um, there are significant financial rewards in place, um, not for eliminating bots, uh, but rather for growing, um, you know, the advertising base, which is quite a different thing. So, uh, yes. His disclosure did explain that, uh, at least on some issues, the company has lied about the bot issue. Well, you know, we already saw Twitter stock fall 7.3 percent on Tuesday um, after this leak. Uh, Peter is set to, or as you, as you call him by his nickname, Mudge, uh, set to testify before the Senate next month. What can you tell us ahead of that hearing? Well, uh, it should be an interesting hearing um, because, for instance, he today and I, uh, as his lawyer, I'm not allowed to go into the details from his time at Twitter, but he's received a subpoena from the Senate Judiciary Committee, a bipartisan subpoena, um, Republicans and Democrats. Uh, uh, he'll be answering questions from both parties, and he'll be authorized to say everything he knows. Uh, so it should be uh, quite interesting. I think we'll hear some details that you're not going to hear anywhere else. All right, John Ty, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you. 
Thank you, and please visit us at whistleblowerade.org if you have uh, any knowledge of a company or, or, or uh, corporate um, or government wrongdoing, and we can give you some free legal help. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.